Big Gay Breakdown. Let's talk Grambling and Purdue. Yeah, the same Purdue team that lost as a number one seed to Fairleigh Dickinson last year. Right now, looking at the Wager Talk live odds screen, I'm seeing Purdue 20, minus 26 and a half, minus 27. Total sitting in the 138 range. I do want to let you guys know, Teddy 7, all access pass, take 30 bucks off. Any seven-day all-access pass. Use that promo code TEDDY7 at checkout. You can use it for me. You can use it for any of the cappers at wagertalk or sportsmemo.com. Don't buy a play. Buy a package. Here's your chance to do so. Again, TEDDY7, your promo code. Take 30 bucks off any seven-day all-access. So last year, Purdue became the only the second number one seed to lose their opening round game to a 16 seed in NCAA tournament history. We know what happened to the previous team that lost to the number one seed in the first round. That was Virginia. They went on to win the national title the following year. Focused, motivated, and talented. I don't know that Purdue's going to win a national title this year, but they certainly have a legitimate chance to write a comparable narrative. They're not going out in the first round this year. And make no mistake about it. Grambling, well, Stetson and Grambling are the two weakest teams in the field. By far, Grambling has shown zero ability to compete when stepping up in class. They were plus 26 and a half against Florida. They lost that game by 39. They were plus one and a half against Dayton. They lost that game by 30. They were plus 27 at Iowa State. They lost that game 92 to 37. They were plus 23 and a half at Colorado. They lost that game by 32. That's a proven track record of failure and an inability to maintain any sort of intensity once they fall behind like 20 plus, like they almost inevitably will here. This is a team that has shown that they let go of the rope when things go bad. And look, Purdue's faced one Big Ten defense after another tough, tough the last three months. Now they have a chance to really dominate a lesser foe in a game that they're interested in. Boilermakers 6-2 and two ATS this year at minus 17.5 or higher. And both point spread losses came by a single basket or less. They were 19, 18 and a half against Penn, minus 18.5 against Penn State. They won by only 17. Minus 29 against East Kentucky. They won by only 27. This has beatdown written all over it. First half, full game, however you want to bet it. If I'm playing, I'm laying with Purdue. Today, at least, is going to be their day. There's your big game breakdown.